Guatemala, home to the biggest Pacific sailfish I've ever seen, home to a rough terrain molded and landscaped by active volcanoes. A country that almost seems unconquered. Visiting Guatemala is like stepping back in time. Everything in Guatemala seems to be organized chaos. But the real chaos is in the water. You're in the upwards of 20 to 30 sailfish a day, and they're not like the sailfish back in the States. I mean, they're 100 pounds all day. Cada día que nosotros salimos al mar, tenemos la dicha de tener 20, 15 o más peces velas por día, ya que es algo inolvidable en nuestros días de muy buena pesca. crew is phenomenal. These guys have been fishing together for a lot of years, all local Guatemalans. Uh, the dudes are legit. I mean, they know how to fly some fish and uh, I get the pleasure of doing it with them. Eh, vengo de una familia que es pescadora y esto ha sido una experiencia muy buena en mi vida ya que provengo de una familia pescadora. Estamos eh, en una temporada muy buena cerca, acerca del pez vela. Eh, esto es una experiencia muy bonita. One of the things uh, we really don't get to do in the States uh, is fly fish for these sailfish. It's something that's become a little bit of a passion of mine, uh, going back to the States, thinking of different flies, thinking of different methods to chase these giant sailfish. And let me tell you, fly fishing for sailfish in Guatemala is number one on my list right now.
nuestro propósito es de enseñarles a ellos la diferencia que hay en nuestro país con nuestra pesca muy buena, excelente, ya que somos a veces pocos las personas que aprendemos este oficio, lo que es pescar pez vela. It's one of those fisheries that every time I come here, when I leave, I'm already planning my next trip before I fly back home. Ya que Guatemala es muy buena, pero muy buena en nuestra pesca de pez vela. Bien. Hollywood. Hollywood. Hollywood.